Hello again for another nightly vlog. Uh, this is number three. It's currently 12 o'clock a.m. and school has just officially closed. Uh, let me, here, I'll show you what I've done so far on this project today. So this is the, uh, the Lorenz violin as it stands. It's in a million pieces. Um, the These supports are off now because I just, they were too distracting. We can see I've moved this around. Um, I got, these are uh, the, um, uh, the, the timing belts that will go on our pulley now. Uh, this is the new board, uh, ESP32, uh, new mo uh, motor controller. Uh, it's the same amplifier circuit down here again, actually, but the old one broke, so. And then a motor with much higher torque. Um, I just designed a new, so this is the old uh, slider ring that I would use to um, I'd put my finger in and drag across the keyboard. Um, this one broke, and this was also predicated on like the string that would attach to these posts. Here's a, um, an inventor we can see what this actually used to look like. Right, um, I just designed a new one that can interface with our belt. So to slide and grasp onto this belt, we have this spacing in between, which I can clamp down with a M5 screw. So I'm gonna print that tomorrow. Um, otherwise, um, it's sounding, oh, here I can turn this on and we can hear it for just a second. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're gonna... I'm current, oh, let's look at the current reading. So it never pulls more than about half an amp. Uh, this is the, the uh, same battery, uh, six amp hours, uh, 12, about 12 volts. The PID stability is okay. Um, we hear, still hear a lot of vibrato, and that's from the fact that these pulleys are really, really awful. Um, I'm never going to try printing pulleys again. Even these, which are resin printed, and you can see this fell and cracked, is like basically the same price as this, which was got on the McMaster car. So we're going to be using actual proper pulleys from now on because like interfacing between metal, like road, I tried using like heat inserts for these guys. This is, this piece, this opaque is uh, filament and this is resin. And we can see like the resin print comes out super great. And um, this is like super inaccurate, but working with them together is just a nightmare. So. This is the proper solution. Also, I like have, a, I have a new belt that came in as well, but we're gonna see that tomorrow. Um, let's try a higher speed so we can just adjust this multi-turn pot. Oh, there we go. Let's do it again. It's fairly stable. Um, but once everything else is on, I can actually start doing uh, like the final proper PID tuning. And it's going to sound better than the old one because this motor has much higher torque. Um, that's. All I have for tonight.